Ball State scores the second most points in the history of their series against Eastern Michigan in a 51-20 beatdown at Ypsilanti on Saturday. It ruins homecoming, but boy, that's a very efficient Cardinals offense. They had 27 points in the opening quarter. Yeah, they are, Matt, and they took advantage of every opportunity that the Eagles presented to them, albeit through turnovers or getting stopped in the red zone. Ball State just capitalized quickly. They were able to go up top in the deep passing game. Winning was very effective in the short passing game, and they were able to run the ball, and their backs were very patient in the running game. A lot of plays looked like there was nothing there, and all of a sudden they pop out, pop through, and big game. Keith Wenning, four games so far this season. Each game he's thrown for 300 yards or more. Coming into the game, he was one of just four Division One passers to be able to boast such a statistic. What did you like most about the way he threw the football? Well, I, th I think his touch on the deep ball was incredible. He threw four or five long passes that were absolutely right on the hand, stretched out of the receivers. They didn't have to break stride, and the coverage for Eastern actually at times was pretty good. Mm -hmm. When you throw a perfect ball, it's tough to defend and that being said I thought the secondary of Eastern did compete pretty well they're in position just it's one thing or another this week it was lack of pressure up front and you give a quarterback like winning that type of time he'll show you exactly what he can do and that's what he did coming into the game Eastern Michigan was a plus two in the turnover battle today they were a minus three it's tough to fight uphill against a very good offensive club like that and yet give them time and time opportunities while shooting yourself in the foot yeah you want to limit the possessions when you play a high-powered offense you want to limit how many possessions they get during the course of a game instead the Eagles gave them extra possessions and you can see what happened they were able to hang what 50 or 51 yeah. points rather on Eastern here this afternoon Bronson Hill might be the lone bright spot for the Eagles today he rushed for 126 yards it's the second time this year he's gone over the century mark and the fifth time in his career yeah I think Bronson was a bright spot but I think that has to also be attributed to that offensive line got a little bit better and they yeah. need to get better they need to be able to run the ball in the mid-american conference chef we didn't expect him to pound Penn State and move it down the field but now you're in the Mac you have to be able to run the ball this offense is not set up as a passing offense as we saw maybe in the early 2000s where they can just throw the ball 50 times all over the field they have to establish the run stand Dan Parrish likes the play-action game, so Bronson Hill running the ball, offensive line getting better, very bright spot for the Eagles. Cardinals have now won eight of the last nine in the series matchup with Eastern Michigan. The Eagles will use the bye week to try and get ready for Buffalo. They'll take on Buffalo two weeks from Saturday. For all the information on Eastern Michigan athletics, go to emueagles.com.